Um, and then for uh, Lindsay, um, can you just speak of your moment of being selected in the third round? And am I really looking forward to the challenges of uh, training camp and trying to work your way onto a roster? Um, yeah, for me, I mean, it was really exciting just to uh, be able to get drafted. And like my whole career, the story has been proving people wrong. So I'm excited to just come out and get to work and try and earn a spot on the team. But I'm just I'm just excited to, to get to work and do that. I'm going to go ahead and lower everybody's hands. If you have a question for Lindsay, go ahead and raise your hand. I'll call on you. Eric Wilson from WKII. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, Lindsay, good morning. Um, first off, congratulations on being selected. Can you just tell me what is one aspect of your game that you want to introduce into this dream team that's going to be very um, something that people are going to notice about you? Uh, thank you. I mean, I think uh, number one is scoring the basketball. Um, that's what I've done my whole college career, and that's what I love to do. So I think that's definitely uh, one of the main aspects of my game. Hey, what's going on? Kahari Jones Jr. from the Los Angeles Sentinel. Go ahead, Kari. Hey, what's going on, Lizzie? Uh, it's Kahari Jones again. Uh, you, you had just mentioned, like, you know, your whole career and just your whole life, it's, it's been about proving people wrong. Could you just elaborate more on that? You know, what does, does that drive you to really, you know, continue to grow and get better? And, um, you know, and how is that going to help you with this chapter of your career? Um, yeah, it definitely drives me. Um, I go into everything with the chip on my shoulder. Um, so I'm always going to go in with that mindset that I'm going to outwork whoever it is and um, just come in and compete and just continue to, to you know, keep proving people wrong at the end of the day. So just continuing to have that chip on my shoulder. Next question from us, Tom, from the next. Go ahead, Thunder. Uh, yeah, Lindsay, I forgot to congratulate Ari, but congratulations to you for getting drafted. Um, you, you have this, I want to say, like almost elite level mid-range game and obviously scoring ability. I, I'm curious, though, what is like the next aspect of your game that you want to work on? Like what's something you think you still need to round out? Um, I think, well, on the, offensive, on the offensive end, I think just being more consistent from the three-point line would be uh, one thing for sure. And then on the defensive end, I think I could always improve. So just on that aspect as well. <laughs> The last call for questions for Lindsay. Go back to Kahari Jones. Go ahead, Kahari. Hey, Lindsay. And, um, I, and I just wanted to uh, ask you just about, you know, um, with, the, with the Atlanta dream, you know, how, how do you feel like, you know, uh, you will fit into today's offense and things of that nature? Have you just basically just got a chance to, like, meditate and then think about the how, like how your game will fit into the offense? And, and if so, what are your thoughts? Um, I think for me, I, I've always focused on trying to do whatever the team needs me to do to win. So, you know, what once I get there and whatever the coaches need me to do, that's what I'm going to try and do and step into that role and just embrace whatever the team needs me to do to win games at the end of the day. Thank you. I and back to Spencer Nussbaum. Go ahead, Spencer. Yeah, so obviously, I mean, you've got Renee Montgomery and the, the new ownership group in Atlanta, um, and they have like this consistent message of fighting for social justice. I'm curious what that organizational message means to you and where you think you might fit into all of that. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, I think as athletes and, uh, you know, being in the WNBA, we have a platform to use and we can use our voices to, you know, voice those things. So it definitely means a lot to me and to be able to be a part of that is, is awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Lindsay. We appreciate it. Uh, safe travels to Atlanta this weekend. Thank you. Right, looks like we have Ari back. Um, Ari, you were asked a question right before you had to hop off um, about our second round pick, Raquel Carrera, um, and if you knew her when she was coming to Arizona in 2019. Can you speak about that for a second? I had the pleasure of meeting Raquel my uh, rest of sophomore year. She came on an official visit with her family. 
And she's a great kid, very talented, and just come from good people. And so, I mean, I'm excited to reconnect with her. Awesome. Our next question is from Jamila Johnson. Go ahead, Jamila. Hey, Aerie, congratulations to you and welcome to Atlanta. Um, so I wanted to ask you, as, as far as the, the team, have you been able to speak with anybody on the team yet? Um, I know you've already spoken to Coach, um, but are any of your teammates reached out to you yet? And if so, could you kind of tell us what they've talked about? Yes, um, Monique Billings got the chance. She reached out to me, DM'd me, and she was just saying if I need anything to hit her up and just saying congratulations and how, you know, um, it's crazy how we had a conversation last year at my game at Colorado and how this stuff came full circle. And Elizabeth reached out to me and followed me and so congratulated me. So those are the only two I really talked to, but today I'll have another like chance and I have more time to connect with my other teammates. Next question is from PJ Brown from the Arizona Daily Star. Go ahead, PJ. Hi, Ari. Um, so what was it like waking up this morning and knowing that you're um, a WNBA player <laughs> and you're going to be with the Atlanta Dream? And also, what will your next sort of, what do you know about your next 10 days? You know, you at some point you have to get to Atlanta for training camp. Do you have any idea what, what this is all gonna look like for you. Yeah, um, I'm still trying to process what happened yesterday. Um, it still feels surreal, but I mean, I woke up just ex feeling extremely blessed. And I don't know what my next 10 days looks like. All I know is I travel to Atlanta tomorrow. So that's all I can really tell you. Next question's from Spencer Nussbaum from The Next. Go ahead, Spencer. Hi, Ari. Uh, just one south. It's embarrassing. I forgot to congratulate you on the first round of questions, but I wanted to do that now. Um, and also, I wanted to ask, uh, I was asking Lindsay as well, you know, with the new ownership group in Atlanta um, and the, the message of social justice, not only a part of the WNBA, but Atlanta specifically, I'm curious where you feel like you fit into all that. Yeah, um, you know, normally I'm just a player that literally like hoops and just like go about their business. But I mean, stepping into the league that stands up for things that they are really passionate about, conversations and stuff and topics. It's just, it's important. I mean, and it's something that intrigues me or I'm really passionate about. I know I can help myself or our community. Um, I'm going to stand up for it. And so I think that having Renee, you know, as the catalyst, I mean, it's amazing. And so, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can have, I can play a, val a valuable role or a crucial role in that, um, that part. Hey, what's going on, Ari? Uh, to... oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Kahari. Hey, what's going on, Ari? It's uh, Kahari Jones, uh, Junior from uh, the Los Angeles Sentinel. And I just wanted to ask you about just, uh, just the connection that you have with uh, Renee, Renee Montgomery, the things that she's doing, you know, in, in, in the community. And now she's uh, from, from player to ownership as well. And how would that inspire you on and off the court? And uh, and just to follow up with that, uh, just can you just elaborate on the support that you have from your family? You know, everyone was there cheering you on during draft night and maybe cheering you on your whole, whole life. How does that inspire you? Yes, just seeing Mar uh, Renee doing what she's doing, that is, that's so inspiring. And that's possibly something that I would want to do once I'm done with, you know, with my basketball career. And um, I'm definitely, as soon as I touch down the land, I'm definitely going to, you know, pick her brain and just, the support I have from my family and my friends, like it, it means a lot. And um, I sacrificed a lot, my parents sacrificed a lot. And so all I can do is reward them by just playing my heart out. Next question is from Eric Wilson from WKII. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, Ari, uh, congratulations. Um, and as a side note, I got a military brother who told me to tell you he's your number one fan. So I just needed you to know that. Um, what is the one aspect of your game that you feel is going to be very complimentary to this dream team? I would probably say my defense. I mean, everyone who knows me knows that I'm a defensive minded person. And so I think that that will really help this team. And um, any way I can impact the game, um, I'm all here for it. And so, I, but I definitely think that my defense, that would be one thing that really sticks out and helps this team. Next question from Jamila Johnson. Go ahead, Jamila. Hey, Ari. I actually wanted to ask you about last year. You um, actually did forego the WNBA draft last year, and then you had that incredible year with Arizona. How do you look at that decision now, um, just looking back on it? 
Yeah, in a moment when I was like kind of deciding whether I want to come back to Arizona or go to uh, the W, I was like, mm, I'm not sure. But now that I'm reflecting back, I'm like, this is probably the best decision I ever made because I got to grow my game. I, I got to grow as a leader and stuff like that and, and probably sharpen my game. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for my decision to come back. And I mean, it placed me in a great position today where I am now. Next question is from Kim Doss from SB Nation. Go ahead, Kim. Um, Ariel and shift away from basketball. I mean, most of the women going in aren't engaged, don't have that other part of their life. Um, what, what does that look like with you and Devon? Um, how, what, are, what are those conversations like about your future? Oof. Um, he's going to try to move out there to Atlanta with me, and we're just going to pretty much start a foundation there. So we'll see. And we'll go back to Spencer Nussbaum for the last question. Go ahead, Spencer. Sure. Um, so now that you're in the league, who is the player that you're most looking forward to facing off against? Because it's, it's in a completely different environment than college, and I'm sure it's a question you've thought about before. I am excited to play against Diana Taurasi. Like, I'm so excited to play against her. I mean, I heard about her on the court and stuff, but, I mean, I'm up for the challenge. All right. Thank you, Ari. We appreciate it. Uh, safe travels to Atlanta this weekend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks, everyone.